Uh, we're back with Jeff Henderson, the Chief Executive of Windflow Technology, uh, who's about to take his Windflow 500 turbine to the other side of the earth, where he's had e extremely good recognition of the turbine and a surprising development. Jeff, what's happening there? Well, uh, over in the uh, United Kingdom, uh, the government earlier this year introduced the feed-in tariff, uh, which is a, a requirement on the power companies to pay uh, uh, about 22 pence a kilowatt hour total uh, for turbines in the wind turbines in the range 15 to 500 kilowatts. If you go to a, a, a larger turbine, the, the revenue drops considerably. To about uh, 10 or 12 p, and the requirement is that the power companies provide a 20-year contract uh, with an inflation clause. So it's very lucrative to landowners uh, who can now look at buying a 500 kilowatt turbine and generating hundreds of thousands of pounds of revenue. Uh, the, the, the great thing for Windflow is that we're one of the few 500 kilowatt turbine manufacturers in the world, and with our Class 1A certification from Lloyd's Register, based in Aberdeen in Scotland. Uh, we've got the credibility to go in to the high wind sites that you've got in Scotland um, with, a, with a proven design. And the Scots are lining up with inquiries for the turbine. That's right. We've, uh, we've had over uh, 370 inquiries from landowners uh, just in the last three months uh, since we signed up with our exclusive agent, Ventus Green Energy. And uh, 29 of those have, have paid money to uh, get a planning application underway for a Windflow 500 turbine. And uh, so far, um, the industry and MG have submitted 17 to local councils. So uh, that will take a few months to go through the planning process. Uh, but they're doing a fantastic job for us building a pipeline uh, and uh, responding to what, what's really unprecedented the demand for the Windflow 500. Now, this has been supported by the New Zealand Treasury uh, in the form of an export credit guarantee. That's right. Uh, into the Export Credit Office, which is part of Treasury, uh, providing a 100% underwrite on the uh, performance bond or advance payment guarantee that we have to put in place in order to do business the other side of the world. Uh, uh, and uh, so that, that's a great boost to us. Uh, also, uh, we've uh, been uh, made... Uh, New Zealand winner of a market entry competition by the UK uh, uh, government, uh, trade and industry, uh, and uh, so that's that's a, a great boost to us as well, and, and, and great promotional and other other um, valuable uh, prizes that they're providing as part of that. Now, with the, with the IRD completed, a, a factory operational in Christchurch, uh, capable of producing up to 60 turbines a year and, and expandable beyond that, uh, the future is looking better and you need this capital to launch this export initiative. That's right. Um, the, the news we've been putting out uh, in the last few months has been nothing but positive. Uh, we know that uh, we've, we've had our setbacks in the past and it's taken quite a long time to get to where we are. Uh, but what we've got is, is really worthwhile. Um, fantastic achievements to, to, to get the turbine uh, to this level and uh, uh, we're ready to take it to the world. Sounds like a, a game changing situation as I think you've described it. Um, uh, how positive are you about the future then for the company uh, at, at this point? Well, uh, the fundamentals uh, are, are right. Uh, we've got a, a better wind turbine uh, we've got a fantastic opportunity in the UK, uh, and uh, as you say, that's, that's a, a real game changer for us. We're, we're looking to get into the United States. We've just announced a deal there, uh, securing two demonstration sites in Palm Springs, uh, and uh, so we're, we're looking at, at uh, getting into the Californian market in particular. Uh, and, and other markets around the world. Not forgetting New Zealand, of course, uh, but uh, there, there's a bit of an oversupply in the power industry in New Zealand at the moment, so um, some of the prospects we've been working on are, are more medium term. Uh, short term, there's this great opportunity in the UK, and we're mobilising to take advantage of it. Thanks for talking to us, Jeff.